In 1950s, there was a businessman by the name of Charles Lazarus. Charles Lazarus. He opened a baby store. Now, a typical baby store is to stock it with what? Children's clothes, diapers, strollers, uh, you know, baby cots. But this man had one revelation, one passion, toys. He just loved toys. All you could think about every day, toys. So he thought to himself, I got to do what everybody is doing, right? Stock it with baby food, baby clothes, baby stuff. He said, ah, I will do what I'm passionate about. He focused only on one thing, toys, toys, toys. Stock up every shelf with toys, toys, toys. And he called his store Toys R Us. Today, Toys R Us is the largest toy store in the world. More than 1,500 outlets in 35 countries. And every kid in the world knows, Mommy, Daddy, take me to Toys R Us. Toys R Us, Toys R Us. Forbes magazine called Charles Lazarus one of the most brilliant retailers in our generation because he stayed focused, concentrated on his revelation. The one thing he's passionate about, bringing toys to the kids of the world. Listen, friends, many years ago I said this, some of you have forgotten, but you need to listen again. Success is not hocus pocus. Success is all about focus. Yeah? Success is not hocus pocus. It's not magic. Success is focus. God to stay focused. One thing I ask in the session, one thing I know, revelation. Number three, one thing I do, action. One thing I do. Philippians 3 verse 13. Brethren, I do not count myself to apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. So we should focus on living for Jesus and serving Jesus. Listen, life, our Christian life is not just take, 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 heal me, deliver me, provide for me, 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 me. No, one thing I do is living for Jesus Christ. Paul said, I press toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus himself said, the Father is the goal and the purpose of my life. Billy Graham told the story of an 80 year old woman. 80 year old woman. And she's blind. You're 80 years old and you're blind. So one day she said to God, God, I'm 80 years old. I'm blind. Take me home. I live a full life already. Take me home. God said, No, no, no. My daughter, I have wonderful things for you to do. I'm 80 years old. I'm blind. What can I do? One day, this woman was clearing her desk and she couldn't see and she accidentally, her head stumbled across the phone directory that has braille words. That means braille is, a, is for the blind people, right? She opened up. She got an idea. Starting with the letter A, she started calling one by one the names in the phone, phone book and witness to whoever that wanted to talk to her. In nine years, she had led 3,000 people to Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, go ahead and give the Lord a big clap. Nine years! More than three. How many people have we led to Christ? How many people have you led to Christ? This woman, 89 years old, and she's blind. She led 3,000 over people to Christ. One thing she did, she had faith action. How many of you seated here today, you're under 89 years old? Put up your hands. How many of you today, you could see, you're not blind? Put up your hands. Listen, if an old 89-year-old blind woman can do that, what are you doing? What am I doing? One thing I ask, one thing I know, one thing I do, let's focus on intercession. Let's talk less and pray more. Let's focus on revelation in your business in your ministry, do the one thing you're passionate about. And let's focus on our action, on our faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. And everybody say, Amen. How many of you want to focus your way to success? Put up your hands.